If we took every species on the planet and we found that 50% of the species could morally reason and other 50% could not, yeah. my, the, the animals that I would eat, that I guess that I would say that I could eat without feeling bad about it, would be the ones over here, the ones that can't morally reason. So, now, if it just so happened that all of them taste disgusting, I probably wouldn't eat them. But I, I wouldn't turn around and eat any of the animals that can morally reason. Okay, I see. But I think what it comes down to is how do we, what's the logistics of testing every species to see if they can morally reason? That's the thing, though, that and I, then do you enforce it? And I think like, do you is, lock is people it instinct up? or not? I think that's, the I, think, I, think I that's, think that's a main question. Exactly. Is it instinct or not? <laughs> Maybe we could replace that beeping noise with amazing. 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 What's the other thing he says? Beta. Beta. Hello. What's going on? I talked to you last time. I remember. I, yeah, I don't remember exactly the conversation, but I remember the face. Yeah, what's well, called? Uh, we had a conversation about uh, morality, atheism. God. Did you come up with a notepad and you were you were writing down notes, or was that somebody else? No, that was somebody else. Okay. Well, we had like the same um, oh. ideas. Yeah. And the. That's uh, right. When I left, you were like veganism. Right and free will. Oh, I, I think. Did we talk about that? I thought that we left that on the table as a potential topic to talk about next. Free will. Well, I, I don't think there's free will. I think we agreed on most yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Except the, the thing was veganism, and I, I want to mm. like I want to talk about veganism because I haven't really. If you if you have time. I do. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. You're still cool if I record it. Oh yeah. Can I ask you to come just a little bit this yeah. way? They're being weird about the camera placement. They don't want me to to actually affix the cameras on anything. It's kind of weird. Who, so I. I who, like, the school. They don't yeah, want you to. Just record. this morning. Yeah, they're like we don't like like you putting all the cameras everywhere. So that's well, why I have I have this one here. And but even like for social experiments, like isn't this like a social experiment, I guess? I don't even know what their reasoning was. They, <laughs> they, they apparently thought that there was a rule. I have to investigate it to see if that's the case. Okay. If I remember, like we ended up talking for like 20 or 30 minutes. So Somewhat, yeah. I want to try to keep it briefer than that though, okay. maybe on this one. Okay. But what is your first name again? Oh, uh, Kevin. Did I give you a puzzle piece last time? Yes, I okay. have it in my backpack. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah. Some people think that they actually have to have it on them in order to come back to talk to me again. I'm like, no, you can just, just, just take it and just hold on to it. You can just get the next one anytime. You don't have to, like, redeem it for a second talk. <laughs> yeah, you want to talk about veganism a little bit? Well, do, I haven't really, Do you like... follow me on Twitter? Because I actually was tweeting with uh, Cosmic Skeptic about this just the other day. No. Do you know who that is? Yeah. Yeah, he posted this picture of... Uh, I think I saw it. It looked like a chicken with its wings spread, and the chicks were huddling beneath it. It was raining. And he... I don't exactly remember his actual tweet, but it was, it was something to the effect of, see, look, there's something more going on here maybe than just instinct. I should probably look up the tweet to see exactly what uh, it was. Uh, you want to pull it up? Yeah, yeah. And I replied with something like, let me see. It does appear to be like moral, it does appear to be moral reasoning, but I'm wondering if it just is an instinct. Instinct in what? Meaning, maybe chickens just naturally extend their wings out when it rains to dry them. And maybe chicks just naturally look for their parent or a secure dry space in Wait, the rain. Wait, is it? Which one is it? That's it. Oh, this one's it? Chicken yeah. Can, can you read his tweet? Chicken can't... Oh, his tweet? Well, let me read uh, his. Okay. Chicken can't afford an umbrella, so she uses her wings to keep her chicks out of the rain. A reminder that your lunch enjoys being warm and dry. That one? Right. And then look at my response below it. There you go. This appears to be more reasoning, and yet I also wonder if it's instinct. For example, do chickens naturally do this to dry their wings, and the chicks naturally seek the protection of their parent, or is or is a parent emphasizing with the exposed chicks? I have a question. That's pretty good. So, yeah, I was wondering, is this really, is the mother really empathizing with the baby chicks and protecting them because she doesn't want them to get wet? Or is there instinct going on? Is the mother just instinct, instinctively sticking out her wings because that's what a chicken does in order to stay, in order to retard the water from its wings? And do the chicks just naturally seek out dry shelter and maybe the comfort of their own parents? 
I, is this I, is this really empath? Is this uh, is this moral reasoning with chickens? Is kind of what I'm wondering. So he actually suggests that we do a discussion on it maybe at the next Faithless Forum in Dallas next year. Uh, but anyway, I don't want to get too far afield here. What is your view? I, I, I personally think it's instinct. Okay. Because, um, so say, do, do you think a, I think that when an animal is pregnant, they don't know that they're pregnant until they have the baby. Do you think humans are animals? To an extent. The... Yes. In, in some type of way, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you think humans realize that they're pregnant before they give birth? Yeah, but we realize <laughs> a lot of things. Like we see, like say, like the males, it's mating season. They don't know that they're making a baby. I, I think it's just instinct that they, I guess they, they feel some, t some type of way. And that's why they do it. I don't know. I guess hormones and all that kind of stuff. I'm a little lost on what your claim is. Uh, I, what's, yeah. your, what's your fact claim you're making here? That it's instinct. That they don't know. It's just it's hard to say. Every animal doesn't know, and every I, animal. I assume. No, I can't. I can't say that. But like, I assume they don't know that. You assume it. Yeah. So I why? Mean, why do you assume it? So say. Say I have a dog, she's never been around animals, whatever, and she's a female, and I don't know where the mm. dog gets her pregnant. She's not, like, does she know that she has a baby? She feels something. Mm. Like, who told her? You know what I mean? Like, How does like we had people telling us that, <laughs> oh, this happens, this happens. What, what if you put an animal in a room by itself without anything, like no other animals, no nothing, and then she's pregnant? How is she going to know that she's pregnant? Is this the barometer by which you determine if we should eat an animal or not? Oh, that's a whole different discussion. Oh, that's I, what I thought we were talking I, about, I, veganism. Oh, yeah, yeah. Were yeah. we? Yeah, I, I eat meat. Okay. That's the thing that I wanted you to kind of like dig in me because I, mm. I, I've been like ever since last time, I've been thinking about it. And I don't think there's a good reason why to eat meat, but I still do it for some reason. I see. I follow you. I, I don't know why. You would like me to like challenge am, you on yeah. your position for eating meat. Yeah. But you don't know why you eat it. Yeah, that's that's weird. Hmm. Instinct again. I don't know. But I'm aware of it, which is kind of weird. Am I just immoral? Okay. Because I, I, I do understand the reasons. And I've been trying to think, like, hmm. I've been trying to think for a reason for me to eat meat. And there isn't. Oh, well, not, not that yeah. I know. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I still eat meat. Can I, I wonder why. Maybe I can make this a little bit about me. And I don't okay. like to do no, this, no, yeah, but because this might actually help tighten it down a little bit. Okay. Because right now I feel like we're all, all over the place. When I talked to Alex about eating meat, I think I said, I can't meat. think of a good justification to eat it other than maybe it tastes good or perhaps I get nutrients from it. That might be a good one. Like maybe my brain and my body won't function properly if I don't eat meat. Mm -hmm. But I don't know that that's the case. But if it is the case, that would be a reason that I'd point to. I'd be like, listen, I would die if I didn't eat it. But I don't think that that's the case because I went for a long period of time where I didn't eat meat and I didn't have those issues. I actually had some other issues. Like I noticed a difference in my physiology when I stopped eating meat. And I've, I've slowly started eating meat again. And in that process, it got me thinking, well, if I meet with Alex again, <laughs> how am I going to explain to him that I've actually started eating meat again? <laughs> and I came up with a hypothesis that I think might be worth, that I think might justify it for people. And that is, I think, here's my, here's my, okay. my hypothesis. If an animal can morally reason, we shouldn't eat them. We shouldn't? We should not eat morally reasoning animals. And meaning species of animals. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there are some humans that can't morally reason because they're, they're mentally handicapped or they're in a coma or something. But if you're part of, if you're an animal that's a part of a species that has the ability to morally reason, how would they're we off the know table. That, Great question. How would he... Help me through that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how we would actually test. I can probably devise a couple of tests. Yeah. Like maybe we can observe rats, and we put one in water, and we see what the other dozen around them do. Do they start trying to figure out how to get that rat out of there? Because they can put themselves in that other person's, that other rat's situation. You just crossed your arms. Why'd you do that? 
Why? Instinct. <laughs> there you go. That's why they're doing it too. Instinct. Uh, but hear me out. So this, this, I'm, you, I, you asked I, me I, how would I test it. I think we could. Humans could probably devise tests to put animals in to determine if they have the ability to morally reason. And if they do, then we shouldn't eat them. Dogs, rats, other humans, chimpanzees, cows. I, I would imagine pigs can probably morally reason to some degree. So. Why? Why is it that you chose moral reasoning? If you don't, if you, what, okay, what, that's a great question. No, that's good. What, I, what made you choose that and not other traits? If that makes sense. That's a great know. question, and I'm going to be completely honest. I think I may have chosen it because I think it's hard to defend against, and it will allow me to keep eating meat. Oh, so you don't want the animal to know that you're going to eat it? No. I may have chosen something that's very difficult to prove. Possibly, yeah. So that I can keep enjoying eating meat. Oh, oh that's. I, I'm saying, <laughs> I, I may have actually picked something because I'm being disingenuous with my own position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's smart. But then again, it might be a really good thing. Like it might be a really good barometer to determine whether or not we should eat that animal or not. If humans can morally reason, if we have the ability to put ourselves in another person's shoes, if we can empathize with other people. As a species, we generally tend to do that. It, I know that there are some humans that can. But since we can do that, can you put yourself in the animal shoe? In in, in the animal shoes? I yeah, guess? I think so. Since we since you said we are able to uh, put ourselves in. Right. If that's that's you know, the thing. If I can put myself in that rat's shoes. Which you can. I can. Not? I could observe them and be like, oh, if if I was that drowning rat, I would want my buddies to help yeah. me out. Yeah. However, I'm thinking that if the animals who I'm observing don't have the capacity to morally reason, if they themselves can't put themselves in my shoes or others of their species, perhaps, then they're on the table. Oh, I see. We can I, eat I, I them. See. I see. That, that is the gauge maybe that I would use to decide whether they should, whether it's morally acceptable to eat them or not. Now, this is just a hypothesis that I'm just developing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Just you know? Yeah. yeah. And I didn't want to make this about me. I think I've, about that. Yeah. I like, so, yeah, maybe you can keep asking me questions or you can let me know what you think about that or whatever. I'm, I'm completely fine. I want people to help me flesh those ideas out because it's conceivable I could be sitting down and talking to him and I want to have my ideas fully formed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Are you working on research? Do you want to move just in the shade yeah, yeah. just a tad? So, wait, so are you, okay? you a vegan? No. No? No, I'm a sloppy vegetarian. Meaning, what's the difference between a vegetarian and a vegan? Like, I, I, I don't, I'm not like it's my understanding that to, vegans uh, also don't eat cheese or drink milk or eggs, they don't eat any dairy. Whereas a vegetarian might eat eggs and cheese and drink milk, okay? But both of them don't eat meat, okay? That's, so my, that's my understanding. Do since you can put yourself in the animal shoes, I guess, yes. I don't know, uh, Say you didn't have that moral reasoning. Mm -hmm. Say you didn't have it. And Me as a person or yeah. the entire you human race? You as a person. No, that's that's my loophole. So if we discover a human that can't morally reason, it Should doesn't mean... Eat them? No. Because humans as a species have the ability to do it. I'm, I'm putting... What? Morally reason. If a species... Here's my thing. If a species can morally reason, we can't eat them. Oh, you're doing it Even, like as a whole? Yes. Like, oh, okay. I'm going like... I'm going as a category. Well, how do you know that cows do it as a whole? Like, what if it's 50-50? We don't know that. Like, what if some do reason? What if some do not? If one cow can morally reason, then the entire species is off the plate. Why? Like, I'm, I'm like, why'd you choose that, though? Like, that's interesting, though. Oh, I, like, think I, I, told, I think I told you why. I think I may have I chosen... I think it's a good... Uh, I think it's a good argument. Yeah, it is. And I think I may have chosen it because it is a good argument, and it allows me to keep doing something that I enjoy doing. It's a good which is argument because there's no answer to it. There may, there may be an answer to it. I don't know what that answer oh, might be. Oh, there is. There yeah, might be actually I, I people think, listening right is. now on the Discord server who are coming up with really good explanations why that's a horrible argument. Right? I don't know. But if I don't at least get my views out there, I can't have them yeah, yeah. tested. That's interesting. I never thought of that. Mm -hmm. See, I was trying to, like figure out why I shouldn't be eating meat and I couldn't I, I never found because like I guess pleasure it tastes good 
Yeah. Um, now there could be other reasons to deny you meat that are that are not based on on morality, and that is the amount of water that it might take to produce a cow can be the amount of water that this entire campus uses on one day. Okay, like to raise that cow to market. I'm just pulling these numbers out of my butt, but it takes a lot of water, right? It takes a lot of resources to bring a cow to maturity, to slaughter it and get meat from it. It could actually be harming the environment for doing that. So that might be another reason why to not eat meat. But I'm kind of looking at it from a... Do you want to eat meat? Yes. Do you want to continue to eat meat? Yes. Why? Because... It's good and I think my body needs it. It tastes good and it, 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 I think my body needs it. It tastes good. Yeah. And now, this, this new thing, the capacity for a species to morally reason. We had 10 minutes. That's quick. That was quick. That's, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, but why, why do you want to chase your, your, what's your, I guess, pleasureness? Why? If, why, if that makes why would sense. I want to, why would I want to compromise my enjoyment? Yeah, like, why do you want to continue? See, I'm a, I don't know why I'm asking you this, but I'm not a vegan. <laughs> Wait, what? You know what I mean? I'm, don't you, I'm do asking. you think that there's still value, though, in asking me these questions for your own position? Yeah. I, I yeah. My, my question was, why do you think, why, why do you, I mean, just because it tastes good doesn't mean that you're going to continue to do it. Maybe I have a, let's say I have a stroke and I lose the, my, the ability to have taste buds in my tongue or something. Mm -hmm. Like that, that could maybe physically change me, I suppose, to the point where I'd be like, okay, that was really the big thing holding me back and now I have no good reason to eat So meat. the big thing holding you back is taste. I think so. I think that's think the, so? I think that's the primary thing. Yeah. See, me as a person, I don't care how it tastes. I ju I just eat it. Like I don't I don't mind it, but why do I eat it? I don't know. Like we may just be eating it because we were culturally brought up this way. Yeah, I, I was. And I, you know, if I was raised in India, where a lot of and I I have I know I have very close friends who are Indian and they don't eat meat at all. It's it's almost all lentils and beans and yeah. rice and See, grains. I was raised in, in I was raised in Mexico and uh, hmm. kind of like in a farm and we uh, we had animals, we had like you know, and we killed them right then and there to eat. That's how I was that's raised. That's part of your culture. Yeah, yeah, that's that's why I came to the United States and I saw this argument about veganism and I'm like Wait, what? Like, it's too <laughs> this different. This is a thing? Yeah, like... This is just as natural like, as uh, yeah, putting on my I clothes. I didn't assume it was wrong, but the, mm -hmm. the main argument that a lot of people bring up is the factories, right? Or no? What? That uh, they're cruel? That, yeah. Do you, do you not they're care pro about that? They're probably wasteful and cruel. Do you not care about... Have you, have you seen... Yes. Seen it in person? Yeah, yeah. Not in person, but I've watched a documentary on Netflix about it. And do you think uh, seeing it in person might have a, an impact on you? Mm. Or like, no. Maybe. Like if you said, Anthony, you got to take these chicks and dump them in this grinder. Yeah, like you do it. You got to do it. Yeah. You, you got to push yeah. the button on the trolley. Uh, I don't know if that would be enough to change my mind on it. See, same thing with me. But why? Yeah. If it's wrong. That's what I'm why, thinking. Why can't? And this is where I've come up with this. This. Argument. If the species has the ability to morally reason, then they're, they don't make, they don't make the cut. But we can't. My argument to this, we can't know that. Like it's, we can't know it. We can't. Like we can't know. Is that the reason why you hold a, that argument? Is that we can't find? No, that no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not setting an impossible standard. I don't think. Uh, but it might be a difficult one. Like it might require resources to go through every species to do, to do a test to see can these animals morally. Let me ask you this: Do you think humans morally reason? <laughs> we should probably define what that means, too. Yeah, I think that was too... Uh... My definition is the ability to put yourself in another person's shoes. Oh, uh, I assume, yeah. Okay. I, I assume we... Uh, yeah. So if we can tell that humans can do it, why couldn't we tell if animals can do it? Yeah, and I can, I can ask you the same question, like, why? Like... What do you mean? To that, you, you, what was your question again? Do you think humans can morally reason? I think you said yes. yes. And my question was, if we can, if we can conclude that humans can morally reason, why couldn't we also conclude 
that specific species of animals can morally reason. I don't know. We don't. That's the thing. I mean, we could do it, right? Like, I would imagine that we can probably devise a test. We can call it the Magna Bosco morally reasoning test or something. I don't know. Let's put my name on but it. But is it instinct or is it them doing it morally? That's the thing. Like, I think. Thank you. Yes. That's, that's the dilemma. That, so are these chicks... Is are that is that instinct? chicken I think instinctually? Doing instinct. yeah, I think they're doing an instinct. Right. That's, and you you thinking... I'm wondering. Oh, you're wondering. I'm wondering. What I'm side not, are you on more? I'm on the I don't know. Okay. But I would like to find the answer to it because it might actually be a good barometer to decide that I don't have to feel guilty about eating that chicken because it can't morally reason. So, it's pretty much, it does have conscience, but it, it just can't morally reason. It, well, why is it that you chose morality for this argument? I guess. Because it, it's a. Uh, Yep. It surrounds it, it, it could have like, been it could have been environmental well, why isn't it like pressures. Yeah. Well, why is it that you, you chose morality? So you won't feel that, I guess. Cuz I'm pretty sure there's other arg like there's morality, there's, you know, oh. There's environmental pressures. Yeah. Right? Like the, the amount of water it takes science, to raise, to guess, raise a cow. which is health. Yeah. And you're focusing on the There's more, taste. Yeah, there's taste. Um well, yeah, we could probably list a dozen that. things. Huh? There's probably a dozen things. Well, I don't know. I don't exactly know why, but I've been thinking about it a lot. And when I see tweets like that from my friend Alex, it makes me wonder, like, he, well, he's a vegan and he's putting forward, he, he seems to be suggesting that this animal is morally reasoning. It has the ability to put itself in its, in its chicks' minds. He assumes that, right? Minds. Or he knows. I don't exactly know his position, so I want to be charitable okay, with it. Okay. I'd like to, yeah, I, yeah. we actually need to kind of hash it out. Yeah. But when I see a tweet like that, it give, gave me the impression that he thinks that this chick is morally reasoning, that it's empathizing with its... The, the chicken is empathizing with its chicks, and it wants to keep them dry because it wouldn't want to be wet itself. See, well, when a cow loses its uh, baby, doesn't the cow cry? I've seen videos of cows chasing calves down the So they the do street. have emotions, I they guess. May. And that might be a good way to say, okay, like we can observe these behaviors. Yeah, that, that they're getting hurt, I guess, emotionally. And do you care about that or no? Them, I, I don't know if I should care if the animal doesn't. Because we know they have feelings, right? Here, let me let, let flesh this out a okay, little more. Okay, okay, say it again. I didn't. No, it's okay. If a cow doesn't care if itself or other cows or its calves are suffering, why should I? Why should you what? Why should I care? Why should I care that the cow suffer if the cow itself doesn't care if it suffers? And if it lacks the cognitive abilities to morally reason, then maybe it's okay to eat it. Why should you care? That's... that's... Right? Yeah. Now, I know to a fairly high degree of confidence that other humans can morally reason. That's why you're off the table. I wouldn't eat you. Yeah. Unless maybe like we were in a plane crash in the so in the would Himalayas. You eat a, a dog? <laughs> yes, I would eat a dog. Uh, a horse and all that kind of stuff. Any animal that doesn't have. I think actually, I think dogs and horses probably can morally reason. So we need to construct a test. Yeah, yeah. That's. I think that's. And I don't so know how we would do that. What if all the animals that we ate did have moral reason, and what if the ones that we didn't eat don't? What if this? Because you said it. Can you repeat it good. again? Can you repeat? So what if? So you're. So what if all the animals that we eat, do you have moral reasoning? Every single animal we that eat. That we eat. Yeah, that's. I guess. Yeah. If that every, taste is good. There you go. Ooh. And then. I'm you even. Find I'm out, even willing to put taste off the table. I don't even care about. I, I'm willing to set aside taste. I, I'm willing to base it all on so the. So say there's this few animals that you can eat because they don't have moral reasoning mm -hmm. and they they don't taste as good. Oh, okay. What do you what do you still eat them? And if you don't care about the taste, well, why don't you eat a? Why don't you become a vegan? I do care about the taste. So you say you didn't? No, no, no. Taste taste is really important to me. Okay, so yeah. But it, it comes down to. Um, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but do you know what I mean? So say like, there's fifty and fifty of animals species, and then this fifty can morally reason. Yes, and these are the ones that we normally eat. 
like cows, okay. chickens, fish. I, I'm thinking that that would that would they're off the table. That we won't okay. eat those. We can't eat those because they can morally reason and okay. we can demonstrate it. What about other animals that can't morally reason and turns out you taste the food and it's not that good. It, it's really bad. You know, you, do, do you know I what, what you. would be your position in that? Like, would you still eat those animals even though you didn't like the taste? Would you oh, I see. force yourself mm, to eat them? No, I probably wouldn't eat them if they were disgusting. So it is about the taste. Uh, yeah, you said it, right? Yeah. So your whole argument would go to the trash if that was the case. Not necessarily, because this other 50%, even though they were delicious, I wouldn't eat them if be, if we can show that they can morally reason. Yeah, but you wouldn't eat the other ones that don't taste good. Right. Yeah. So I, I would basically not eat any animals if that were the case. Yeah. I'm always happy. But these animals can morally reason. They, you know what I mean? The, the non-tasty ones? Yeah. Can morally reason? Yeah. What do you eat them? That's the No. No? No. My barometer. So I th you'd be pretty much a vegan, because those fit the other. The, the yeah. other. Let, okay, let me repeat it back. Make sure I got it. If we took every species on the planet and, and we found that 50% of the species can morally reason, and other 50% could not. Yeah. My, the, the animals that I would eat, that I guess that I would say that I could eat without feeling bad about it, would be the ones over here, the ones that can't morally reason. So now, if it just so happened that all of them taste disgusting, I probably wouldn't eat them. But I, I wouldn't turn around and eat any of the animals that can morally reason. Okay, I see. But I think what it comes down to is how do we, what's the logistics of testing every species to see if they can morally reason? That's the thing, though, uh, and then do you enforce it? And I think like, the do you is, lock is people it instinct up? or not? I think that's a question. I think, I think, I that's, think that's a main question. Exactly. Is it instinct or not? And how do we figure out that that chick... Isn't all this instinct, though? The free will, I guess? We can bring the free will argument to this. I mean, it's hmm. taught instinct, I guess. Or no? I don't know how. I, I, I don't know how we would discern the difference between instinct and empathy or moral reasoning. I'm not exactly sure how we would do that. See, I had a thought right now. I, I really think it good. requires watch, observing, observing, observing animals in various scenarios to see how they react when they see their own species. In a, in a traumatic situation. Yeah, but we, we, can't, we may know how they may react, but we don't know what's inside their mind. They may be instinctually yeah, reacting yeah, because instinct. So who, if who it knows? is instinct, well, what, what side would you choose if it, it is instinct? If it's instinct, yeah. I think, ooh, that's tough. That's a good question. I think if it's instinct, they would be on the table, meaning I could eat them if it's not moral reasoning. So let's, okay, let's expand this. Our, you just crossed your arms again. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what thought do you have of me? Like, what do you think? It usually gives me the indication that you're uncomfortable or maybe oh, you're, no, you're becoming I, defensive. No, no, okay. no, not at all. But it doesn't always mean that. Okay, no, no. I'm and just and I'm, I'm only pointing it out like, because hmm. I like the questions you're asking me and I'd love you to learn this approach. So that's, that's something to be watching out for. Let's extend it to humans. Okay. Are humans morally reasoning, or are we just working instinct. off of instinct? See, that's the thing. That's we. I I assume. I mean, is it an illusion that we're more kind of like the free will argument that it's like an illusion that we mm -hmm. we're able to choose, but it comes down to uh, I guess instinct. Like, let, let me propose a hypothetical. We have this wonderful bridge right behind you, mm -hmm. and if we we looked up there and there was some goofball like doing like a tightrope walk, but then he loses his balance and he's hanging on there and he's screaming for help. Would you go up there to help him? Yeah. Are you doing it because, why are you doing that? Is it instinct that's causing you to go help him? Yeah. Say like when, you, are you saying, are you kind of like when I fall, you instantly put your hands on? No, no, no. Okay. I want to know why you would go help that guy. Instinct, like I would. Why would you? Care? Because you care. Yeah, I wouldn't like to be in his shoes. Okay. I wouldn't, you know what I mean? So I, I know the damage that could be done if if he does fall, I guess, and mm -hmm. would I like to be in that situation? No. See, now I would call that moral reasoning. Okay. Because you can put yourself in his shoes and be like, yeah, shit, yeah. if that was me dangling out there, I'd want as many people rushing up, maybe a couple down below just in case I fell, and then as many dudes running up there that can, that can lift me back over the edge. See, but can you... Apply that same philosophy, but to an animal instead of a human. Like, can you 
be in his shoes, even though you didn't have moral reasoning. Say, you know what I mean? Say you know, say you know they didn't have moral reasoning, like the, the cows, and you put the, yourself in those shoes, like in their shoes, I guess. If we concluded, I'm getting a little confused. Let me repeat it. I think what you're proposing, if we can conclude that cows cannot moral, morally yes. reason. They cannot have, they don't have the ability to put themselves in another cow's hooves. But you do. But I can put myself in that cow's hooves. Yeah. I would say no, because no it, to what? I would say that, I would say that that, we could eat that cow. Even though I could put myself in an animal's yeah, yeah. position, the, the, their inability to do it themselves precludes them from excludes them from but why from what is that excludes them from that i guess why well why is it that that makes them you know what i mean no that's a good question why? that's a good question i don't know if i have a good answer for you yet yeah all these questions are hard i guess they're tough yeah i, I i'm not really like knowledgeable in the animal veganism it's new to me it's new to me as well like i, I don't know what like i'm saying like, and know you know what we're I'm discussing mean. is probably like you know veganism 101 you know people have probably t talked about this and and uh you say true yeah. <laughs> good timing yeah. um you know we, we people may just be laughing at, at our discussion here i don't know but it's it's new to me and and i don't i'm still working through it street epistemology Amazing! Nice. Thank you. Appreciate it.